Well, hello and greetings and welcome to the Midweek Update for Wednesday, April 24th, 2024. We're coming to the end of April. Uh, spring is in the air and uh, the trees are blooming and what a beautiful time. And I come to you from the Galleria as we are coming up on our third week in Faith in Action. A lot to talk to you about in so many tables, but the first thing I want to do is invite a guest I have over here who is helping out and putting Faith in Action as we speak. Mrs. Jerry Penn is here cleaning up the pews today and putting everything together so it's all nice and neat and organized for you on Sunday. I thank you for volunteering and putting your faith in action. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Well, I thank Jerry and Caroline and Dawn and Jean and so many other volunteers over the years that have worked in the sanctuary and, and helped out to be a part of uh, the care ministry team and just a part of helping get the church prepared for the week ahead. So on to a few updates here from the ministry office. We do enter our third week, second week of the series in Faith in Action, and the third week because we talked about mission and ministry, mission and our vision of the church uh, the previous, uh, the first week to get things kicked off. But this third week, April 28th, join us again. The ministry fair is all set up. Uh, we are faith in action as we speak, and I just want to give you a little a little look at all of the tables set up if you haven't been in here we have wesley's kids we have the golf league we have a plethora of opportunities you can learn more about the sound booth faith discipleship classes the backwoods crew reaching new people working in the library ushering so many different volunteer opportunities i have missions to my left i have kids in faith over uh, to my right so so many different opportunities that you can check out anytime during the week or here on sunday our next update is to keep the confirmation students in prayer this friday night they'll have their confirmation all-nighter they'll be here in the church as they get prepared for confirmation sunday coming up and today this day wednesday it is Administrative Professionals Day, and if you have not done so already, please give a phone call into the church office, send an email, stop by if you're in the neighborhood, and just say thank you to Deanne Donahue, our Administrative Professional in the office that handles so many, so many administrative tasks in the office. We would be lost without her. So we thank her for all she does and all she does for the glory of Medina United Methodist Church. Two more updates for you. The National Day of Prayer will be on Thursday, May 2nd. So a week from tomorrow, the National Day of Prayer, there will be a 915 prayer service at St. Francis Church. There will be other events throughout the community. So we encourage you to check that out. And most importantly, most importantly, we encourage you to be in prayer for your brothers and sisters in Christ, for our church, for our community, for our country, for our world, especially so on that National Day of Prayer. Our last update, a reminder that on Sunday, May 5th, we'll have one combined service. That's one combined service at 9.30 a.m. That'll be Confirmation Sunday. There'll be a reception to follow along with a update and just a general uh, update on all the happenings of general conference as that continues on in its second day in charlotte north carolina and that will go through uh, into may the first friday in may and we just keep all that are a part of that all the delegates people traveling from across the world to be there uh, we keep them in prayer during this time as they have so much work ahead of them but they do all this work with one purpose and one goal in mind, and that's glorifying God's church here on earth. And friends, that concludes our midweek update here, and I uh, encourage you to get out. You can come in any time during the week. We encourage you to be here on Sunday for our faith in action, and you can get an opportunity to peruse the tables and learn more about so many opportunities you can be a part of. That's all I have for you. Take care, blessings on the rest of your day, and we'll see you on Sunday.